This one single habit has changed the way I view life. It has changed the way I live, the way I act towards certain people, the way I think about certain concepts. It's even shifted my dreams to the point where I can be excited for what's to come. It's crazy to me how such a straightforward, repeated action can change your life in such an immense way like it changed mine. This one single habit is simply being grateful. Gratitude is an amazing thing. And I want to start off this video by just reading off some of the benefits that you can have by practicing gratitude. You're gonna feel more positive emotions. You will feel and relish good experiences more often. Your mental health will improve. It will become easier to deal with adversity and it's gonna be easier to build strong relationships. And this can happen just by taking 10 minutes a day. Now I'm not talking an hour a day. I'm not talking those routines, those three hour morning routines that'll help you feel better. I'm talking just 10 minutes a day and you'll have all these positive impacts in your life. So there was a study done by two prestigious college university professors by the names of Dr. Robert A. Emmons and Dr. Michael E. McCullough. And what they did was they had three experimental groups. One group had to write down positive things that happened to them that day. And this was daily for 10 weeks. Another group had to write down just what happened the day, neither positive nor negative. And the other had to focus on stuff that irritated them, stuff that made them unhappy. And all the, all, they just had to jot down negative feelings for 10 weeks. What they found was that after those 10 weeks, the group with more positive, that wrote down the positive things, that group had overall happier experiences, they felt happier, they felt more positive emotions, and they actually exercised more. They were more motivated to go out and do stuff that made them happy, go out and do stuff that benefited their lives. The importance of this study is that even just taking a couple minutes a day to feel grateful will impact your life in such an immense way and it's been proven by college university professors this isn't something that may or may not happen it's if you practice gratitude you will feel this way personally i think that gratefulness should be pushed in schools in the united states it should be a mandatory activity you don't you see a lot of teachers and People that run the school systems, they talk about how they want to improve kids' mental health and they set up some support line. I'm not saying that this isn't gonna help at all, but where is the action that you are having these students take to actually help with their mental health when the answer is so simple by just taking a couple minutes a day and adding this mandatory activity where you have to list down something positive that happened in your life. This would have such a big effect and there's just no one, no one seems to be including it. It, it. The solution is there. No one wants to imply it. And when you think about the capitalistic structure that the United States has, why would they? When you have people wanting more, always wanting more, feeling like they don't have enough, you push this idea that they have to work harder and harder and harder to get what they want and never stopping to realize what you already have. Now, I'm not saying that capitalism is a bad thing because I know that there are going to be a lot of people that say, oh, Nick hates capitalism. I, I love capitalism. I think it's a, a, an amazing thing for output and it's done a lot of amazing things. But I think that you have to apply this a form of gratefulness to have it work, to have increased the happiness level. And when you look at other parts of the world, United States is nowhere near the top five, the top 10 happiest countries in the world. And when you think of how much output they produce, how much, how much United States citizens have as compared to other countries, and then you look at the happiness level, it doesn't really make sense unless you look at the mindset of it all. Water is something that's easily available to access in the United States. Water is not a problem in the United States. And there are countries that have a higher happiness level that don't have water that many of their citizens, citizens struggle to get water. How is that possible? When you think about it, it all comes down to the mindset. It all comes down to the, the mindset of wanting more and more and more, never being satisfied with what you have. And I think that sometimes it's okay to just take a break, look at what you have, and just simply be grateful. That will increase your happiness level so much. So how can you make this a daily habit? How can you make gratefulness being a daily habit? The one thing I always like to recommend is to journal. I think journaling is an amazing thing and it doesn't take long. All you need is a notebook, a pen, 
for me i use this big pen um m medium and then i use this exceed notebook i've had it for well over a year and what you can do with these items is every day just take five minutes and write down five things that you already have in your life that you are grateful for or five things that happened that day that were positive experiences and just write it down that's all it is that's all it takes to be grateful now what you can do to make this an even better experience is you can romanticize this experience. You can go to a coffee shop and write down five things that you're grateful for at that coffee shop. Go to the library and write down five things that you're grateful for at that library. Go on a walk and jot down on like a little notepad five things that you're grateful for. It's really that easy. I do want to recommend that you make this a ni nice notebook to truly make this a habit that's going to stay in your life because if you buy just a notebook a one dollar notebook it's gonna you're gonna struggle to really make this an important thing in your life and you want this to be an important thing in your life you want to make this a priority that you do every single day and you don't let go at it so these five things that you get to be grateful for can really be anything they can be objects they can be ideas they can be people anything and i feel like a lot of people get stuck because they they're like they look at their lives and they're just so unsatisfied with what they have this idea that has been drilled into you by capitalism. It can be anything, your family, your your pen, your notebook, the things you're using to write with, just, just being alive. That can be something that you are grateful for. It is such a simple thing that can impact your life in such a beneficial way that I wanna push this, I want to push this so much because schools are not doing enough, society is not doing enough, the United States government is not doing enough, no one is doing enough, and there has to be people to push for this to, to push for this happiness to push for this positive energy in the world and i truly want to be one of those people so that is all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching the video i very much appreciate it i know i say this a lot but you may see a shift in content format in the future uh i haven't been posting this last couple weeks and you'll soon know why anyway hope you guys have hope you guys enjoy some of the new formats that i'm going to be trying out and i hope you have an amazing day So I'm literally just taking pictures of me journaling and bro. It's so close and it's the same color. It's so close. Anyway.